today video you're going to laugh and your tummy is going to be tight this person she went to a caucasian salon she has a very kinky hair hey guys watch me get my hair done in a professional hair salon in Turkey. I was looking for extensions to braid my hair. I went to this professional salon and asked them and then they said they would be able to do my hair. The journey of co-washing and blow drying, styling my natural hair in a professional salon. She said they are in Turkey. So I thought this was in the US. Okay, she said she's in Turkey. Let's see what's these talking guys what they are going to do to her hair i usually control like do single they were kind of kind but happy now because i told them they don't need to help to lose the colors but they insisted happy and uh, mm, just be watching this video is kind of fun and uh, i know you guys will be like freedom why are you allowing everybody to touch your hair guys i am not afraid for people to experiment with my hair she said experiment oh dear i don't think this is going to turn that way experiment with your hair no way you're not touching my hair if you are a learner you want to learn how to braid hair you are close to me just contact me i will just allow you but what i am sensitive about is just the tender head oh my gosh you we need to be very careful when um, doing my hair you can see it was two people who were saying your hair is too full one month back i cut a lot out from my hair because i was very tired of long hair they are giving her a hair wash i don't even think they know what they are doing there is different shampoo for different type of hair so with white people hair as the caucasian hair they don't need oil in their shampoo except someone with very dry hair even though they don't really need sh oil in their shampoo because their scalp produces a lot of oil. Whereas we, with Africa hair, we need oil in our shampoo. There's a good one that I use for my girls and for my client. I will lick it down. Karen Care has a very good oil shampoo. So in this kind of shop, except they cater for king. Ooh, it's a bit too rough with her hair. No, you can't, you can't watch black people hair like that. And shampooing the hair, you are untangling it. There's different way. With Caucasian hair, you just put your hand. There's a way they teach us rotary. You just put your hand and your hand glide through. And then when he is done, he applied the hair mask, cover it like this. And now we stay on dry for some minutes. It's a, a kind of a steam as well. But this is for fuel when the, you have like a highlight on your hair especially you want the it's a lot of highlight and you want it to process quickly that's when we use this rotating heat steamer which is good as well or you can just go into the dryer reduce the temperature to about 40 45 that and but cover the hair so that the product can go into the hair but i don't know if they are using it i'm still laughing i just want to see what is going to happen because I know I work with Caucasian people in the salon before. They told me, they said they are terrified of Africa here. Okay, keep it a secret between me and you. It was like it was too warm, and my mind was like, is it relaxer they applied on my natural hair? And I was like, I hope it's not to, it's not a, a hair relaxer. And I was touching it because it was inching, my hair was was giving like rising up as if it's rice rising and rising and rising after some minutes and he went ahead and rinsed off the mask so they are just rinsing the product out ah i hence needs you can see i hence needs to be chopped so she have like dead oh that ends need to go it need to go but her hair is really really good but our ends needs to go so with this hopefully they know what they are doing adding some living condition as well that will help soften the hair that's what i normally do before every blow dry and cover it put other things heat rotator and cover it with a bag like a, a shower cap oh don't i don't take too much of the water and you need water and then i start uh, blow drying it with session and then i cover the hair that's how I do my one, but let's see how they do their one. Okay, they are no, not this. This brush is too strong for her hair. 
So they have like this detangling brush. Yes, yeah, something like this with detangle the hair, like a detangling brush. Like I said, you that is having natural hair, avoid using towel to dry off water. Use a t-shirt so that you will still be having the moisture. After they were done, no detangle, you can see they are just about to blow dry my natural hair. I was not questioning them either. Oh. No. <laughs> the heat on the hair. Oh no, you don't do that. But I don't blame them, they try their best. But one thing I do, okay? I says, oh no, 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 no. That's heat damage. Don't take a hair that you cannot do. Just say, no, I can't. This is not Caucasian hair. You can't. No, it's trying its best. But no, before doing this with brush, you have actually make sure you've combed the hair. Then before you start doing this flat ironing. No, 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 no. One thing is, if you want to do your hair, I know they are in Turkey, our hair wasn't looking that bad. Go to a salon that specializes for the particular service that you are doing. If you want to do braids, ask, have you done braids before? Can I see a picture of the braids you've done? Okay? If they are like, mm, it's not in the, uh -uh. you just go and look for where they do braids. Like me, now if somebody comes to the salon and say, Chris, I want to do this time. I'm very truthful. I just say, mm, I don't have time or I can't do it. I don't want to do something, waste their money and waste their time. It's not good. I give myself a bad name. So there is, your, there's different stylists have their own strength. This is a lot. What are they doing? And even the hair is tangly. Can you see? This is heat damage. Our hair is gone. I bet that this hair, just look, look at her hair. They are now using tongue. You see the amount of heat they put on her hair. Let's see what they are going to do with her hair. This is just, this is horrible. <laughs> this is the result. Look at what she's done. Let's see what how much she paid. She said she's going to let us know what she paid on the oh, oh, oh dear, she should have just left her hair alone. Even up to, I left there just maybe, I left there five minutes ago and look at the course. Look at the course. Is that... <laughs> no, look at the state of the hair. No. Why people hair? and black people hair is two completely different things. Before going to hairdressing school, I thought because black hair, like Afro hair, is tough, I thought our hair is very strong. No, our hair is the weakest hair, okay? They have three layers in hair. Caucasian hair have three layers in their hair. I'll put the diagram here. And Afro hair has two layers. There's something in the middle that called medulla. We don't have that, okay? That's another strength that is inside the hair shape that protects the hair. Our hair is so fragile. The more your hair is kinking, dry, the more fragile your hair is. The more your hair is a little bit slippery, the more stronger your hair is. It's not by the amount of thickness. I have to learn that in the hard way. And we are the ones that do the most to our hair. We put relaxer on our hair. I showed you guys before. And the back, ooh, the back is still the same. Oh, you guys still see the back. Oi, now I'm going to experience heat damage. I'm going to experience heat damage. See the back. The back, the back, see. What do you guys think and what did I expect? Comment in the description that you thought if you have experienced what comment in the description, I bet. I think they did what what they can do. But this is just terrible. Tell the person. If you cannot do it, just say, I can't do it. The link of the video is going to be down in the description below. You know what? Bye.